Have you been craving the Creta but wondering is there something better that you could go for? Well, funnily enough, the answer to that question is also coming from Hyundai by way of a bigger Creta. Yes, this is a three-row, seven-seat Creta. And it's called, we'll tell you all of that and a little bit more in a bit. But first, remember to subscribe to Zigwheels if you like what we do. It's called the Alcazar, after a palace in Spain. So it's promising to treat you royally, but as you can see, it's very much under camouflage right here, and it's a prototype. So there's a lot that we can't tell you, but we will tell you what it's promising and what you can expect from it because we have spent some time with it here today. It is promising to go big on bling. Yes, this essential design looks the same as the Creta, but there are differences. This grille actually gets a smattering of chrome studs, which will make it look, well, more head turning. There's a little bit extra bling here because you've got 18 inch wheels here, whereas you get 17 inches on the Creta, which will also be offered on the lower variants of the Alcazar. Where it's going big on being different from the Creta is the rear section. As you can see, it's got really large tail lamps, which are completely different from the ones that you've seen on the Creta. And along with that, it's a much more vertical rear as well. And packed into this rear is 180 liters of boot space, which is the best in the segment. And that's with all three rows up, of course. And those seats, when you need, can be folded down flat. The big difference from the Creta, as you can see here, it is much longer. The wheelbase has been stretched by 150 millimeters, a lot of which has been added into the door here, which is much longer. And that's to make access to the third row that much easier. The seats in the middle just flip and tumble forward at the pull of one lever. And the third row itself, well, we'd say it's perfect for kids or young adults. And even adults can spend time in there for shorter distances. You've got all the creature comforts like a secondary AC to cool you and of course blower controls, USB chargers for both the occupants there. So it's pretty well equipped and you wouldn't mind spending time there. But where this Alcazar is really trying to pamper you is in the second row because the added wheelbase means you've got more room there. The seats have been made that much more plusher and Hyundai is offering a bit more kit. There's a center console here with the six seat configuration, which gives you an armrest, cup holders, and a wireless charger for the second row of seats. So yes, this is gonna come with more equipment to make it feel more luxurious, along with all the trappings that we've already seen in the Creta, which gives it that wow factor. In the second row, you will get folding picnic tables with cup holders to make it your mobile office. But you can expect all the features that you saw again on the Creta, like the ventilated seats and the connected car technology, the panoramic sunroof, all of that to come through here on the Alcazar. Now for that Alcazar experience, Hyundai has been a little clever. They're giving a different color combination here, tan and black to give it that more premium look. But in terms of design, it is pretty much like the Creta. But of course, you do get a few more toys here, even up front, like a 360 degree camera and embargo. We'll tell you more on the drive. To drive, the Alcazar is taking the Creta's promise of being very car-like and manageable for everyday use and going one level up by making it more plush. Hyundai said that it has better insulation, it'll ride better, and on our drive here, we certainly felt that it was very well-mannered. It felt cocooned on the inside. And to drive as well, it is going to be manageable because, well, it is a monocoque platform and it is tuned to drive like a car. And aside from that, you're getting a choice of engines, a diesel and a petrol, the 1.5, which we've already seen in the Creta, and pretty much in the same state of tune, except that it has shorter gearing to deal with the added bulk of this car and the load that it is expected to carry. But the engine that we drove here today is the 2-litre petrol in the latest state of tune, which is the new generation of the engine that we've seen in the Elantra. This makes 159 PS and is claimed to go to 100 in under 10 seconds. And while that is exciting, what excited us about this engine was its elegance. It was extremely refined and at the same time very drivable at low speeds. So for city use, it's going to be a breeze and out on the highway, it should have the punch to pull along just fine. And on both these engines, you get the option of six-speed automatic transmissions as well. Well, that's been the promise. And our sneak peek today shows that it is promising to be a big SUV for urban families in India. 
and a good solution for them. Well, what could it do better? What is it backing? Well, all of that we'll explore once we get to drive it properly post its launch, which is expected to happen in the next month. And we think that the prices in the range of 70,000 to 1.2 lakh rupees at a premium over the credit would be about right for this Alcazar.